Hey guys, uh, it's Jeff, aka Quiet Horn from QuietHorn.com, and I have another uh, video today about some extended techniques for trombone, and uh, extended techniques being uh, unconventional or uncommon ways of playing your instrument that might lead to unconventional or uncommon sounds on your instrument. So uh, today's technique is pretty easy. Uh, the name that I've given this technique is just, I call it the, the side tongue. Uh, to that we would be to contrast it with a normal single tongue, double tongue, triple tongue, doodle tongue, whatever other kind of uh, tongue you might have come up with. And uh, it's probably, it, it's a sound that you, you probably have made in your life, maybe when you were a kid. Uh, as little kids, we all kind of make funny sounds with our mouths sometimes. Um, but it, basically, the, the, the single tongue just is just going like this, basically. Okay, so um, that's something that you may have done. Uh, it, I don't think it's difficult for anyone to do. It's pretty easy. Um, anyway, so just uh, if you do that on the, on the trombone again, without without the vocalization, um, you don't actually have to vocalize the trombone. I'm just doing that when I when I show you. Um, anyway, it would sound kind of like this. And uh, you can hear it's, it's, it's kind of an uneven sound. It breaks up a lot um, because your, your tongue is, is actually just going back and forth um, on the, the back of your, your lips as your embouchure is trying to keep the notes going, you know. So it, it breaks up your embouchure, uh, it, it breaks up the sound. Um, as to whether or not it's useful or, or how it's useful, uh, it's not a replacement by any means for something like a, a normal single tongue, double tongue, uh, doodle tongue, etc. Uh, it's not really useful for fast playing like that at all. You can't really, uh, at least I haven't been able to um, to cross partials with it uh, in any way that would you know make it uh, possible to play scales or arpeggios or really most melodies. Uh, however, it, it is um, useful. Uh, I think if you think of it kind of as a as a tremolo. Um, for trombone. Uh, so as you know, uh, string players, uh, guitar players, other stringed instrument players uh, have a, um, an effect called tremolo, which is sort of a, a rapid um, pulsation of, of the same note. And um, if you think about, uh, say, a violin player, and if you think about their bowing technique as their articulation technique, and if you think about a guitar player maybe as their picking technique, or their, if they're using the fingers as, as their fingers as their articulation technique, uh, and compare that to our tongues being our part of our articulation technique. Um, it's kind of a, a tremolo effect for trombone. So uh, if I play it again, um, just to give you an idea, and kind of think about maybe how a violin might uh, sound playing this, same, or maybe a cello that's more in the range of trombone might sound uh, playing this the same kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's one use for it. Uh, I think if you're playing with some string instrument players, uh, whether it's a written piece or uh, if you're just improvising or something, and and um, if they're doing a tremolo effect, that's something you can approximate on trombone with your own kind of side tongue thing. Um, it is actually useful in in some uh, one other case that I've I've found where if you actually do this technique, but you kind of instead of just using the tip of your tongue. If you, I guess your tongue almost protrudes through your lips and you push hard from behind, you get a much uh, more abrasive kind of, um, almost like a very hard flutter tongue sound. I'll just show you what that sounds like. So um, let's play like an F. Um, yeah, if you do it hard enough, uh, um, the tongue kind of starts to self-oscillate or something, and again, it's almost like a flutter tongue, except your tongue will start to pass through your, your lips and completely disrupt your embouchure as you do it. Right, and it, it again, it's, it's really uneven, uh, not really easy to control, but it's useful, especially, um, let me grab a plunger here. It's uh, especially useful um, if you do that with a plunger, it sounds kind of cool. So something like this. 
Right. Uh, it's if you know if you have a plunger solo or something in a in a jazz band or some other band, um, uh, it's it, it could be a pretty useful sound. So for playing some kind of a blues thing. Um, So uh, yeah, I think that's kind of it for the side tongue. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, mess around with it if you if you do spend a lot of time on it and you end up somehow being able to actually use it um, to play scales or as a, a very very fast replacement for some other kind of uh, multiple tonguing technique. That would be awesome. Uh, I haven't been able to do that, and I don't. I have a feeling it's not possible, but you know, you never know. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching.